Hello, hello. Can you hear me? I can. What's up, man? How you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Doing pretty good. I'm uh looking forward to giving you some Zerg tips here. Um, I'm, 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 I'm gonna eat some food later. It's gonna be great. Everything's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my brother's making food, and he's like gonna hook me up with some of it. So looking forward to that. Uh, or go ahead. Sorry. I don't have nitro, so the stream quality is gonna be shit. So. Sorry. Oh, you're, you're 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 no problem. You're all good. If I play music, it, does it stream? Can you hear my music? Uh, no. On Discord, okay. I, I can't. You're totally fine. You can do whatever you like. Uh, okay, so I have a question. Uh, yeah. So, are you the kind of person that... And if there's no wrong answer to this, but are you the kind of person that would prefer me to talk to you during your game? Or would you like me just to talk to you after the game and let you kind of go for it? I was just going to mute and just get in the zone and just cool. let it happen, and then we'll talk in like eight minutes or whatever. All right, that sounds good. So, I'm going to... I will... Uh, what's it called? Um... Like, I'll still talk, like, to the stream and to, like, the VOD. So, like, yeah. in, in the future when you want to watch that, like, you can... I'll make notes and stuff, like, while you're playing. But then I'll kind of, like, rehash them with you a little bit. But, yeah. I'll still... So, I'll like, for the recording, you'll still hear me talking. But for now, yeah, go for it, man. Go do your thing, and I'll, uh, I'll observe. Okay, cool. Okay. Well, guys, this is uh, this is our boy right here. This is our boy, Hat Trick Lord. And um, yeah, so essentially, what's gonna happen is is uh, I I think he's uh, yeah, like I said, I think he's Gold League. Uh, I'm pretty sure. He's he, I think he said he's twenty five hundred. Um, which is gold, if I if I recall. Either way, it doesn't really matter. He's it's around that area. Uh, it's pretty easy peasy, pretty chill, pretty um. I'm looking it up actually. Just, yeah, it's around twenty five hundred. Okay, that's what I was. I wasn't wrong. I'm trying to do this all off memory. Uh, but yeah. So, uh, essentially, what's gonna happen is, is he's looking for a build, and uh, like so making sure what he's doing is actually working properly and stuff like that. So, so far, his build looks fine. Relatively fine. Him going for... Okay, so that drone should have become a gas. Alright, no, he's, he, he's, he's actually doing B2GM. Just joking. That's, uh, yeah, no, this is totally fine. 20 gas is what he's going to go for then. Be the gym's totally fine. I was thinking of like a speed thing expand, but yeah, obviously. So it's, it, it makes sense. Okay, his build so far is perfect for a beta gym. <laughs> and his overlord placement's good too. His second overlord might be a little bit too far forward, but otherwise it's fine. If it's like against like a Protoss, you definitely don't want it that far forward. You want it like kind of over the top of the hatchery almost at the natural. That way you can't get cannon rushed in the fog of war if you somehow missed a probe crossing the overlord. Uh, but his first overlord, and his first overlord is fine. It's going to the natural. Kind of stopped it looks like on the map though, but yeah. It's still there. It. It's not close enough to see if there is a natural, though. So that's something he definitely need, would need to do in in real games in the future. Because it's very important info. It would depend on if you made or don't make a spine crawler. Yep. He's just droning his ass off right now. I love it. He's spamming that larva right now. I love it. Oh, my God. You need to, you, 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 guys, okay, take notes of this. You need to do this. If you're a Zerg player, you need to do this more yourself. You need to definitely spam that. Oh, use the larva button yeah. as much as possible. Yo, Aaron X, thank you for the 14 month resub, man. Thank you, thank you. Uh, oh, did he make a layer before making a queen? No, he did not. Okay, thank God. I was about to say. The cops are coming for him. He's too good at macro. It's going pretty good. I'm doing a YouTube uh, coaching lesson right now, but uh, I'm doing good. Hope you're doing well as well, man. Uh, okay, so he's just droning. Right now, he should be building a Rotoran 
Okay, good, good job. And an Evo Chamber. Good, good, good. That creep tumor should honestly be going out towards the natural. Realistically, but it's okay. <laughs> Alright, so a big thing that people struggle with is when to take the third. He should honestly have a drone right now running to his third to already to get ready to take it. Because he has, uh, he's made plenty of drones to saturate the space perfectly. And if, if he takes, the, like, say how he has 300 minerals right now, he can afford a third right now. And if he takes a third when he has, like, a thousand, it's definitely going to be late. Okay, so he started it, but it hasn't started yet for real. Oh, let's look at the minimap. It starts right now, and he had like 670 minerals, according to if he started it right then. Because he was at 370 when it went down, and it's a 300 mineral hatchery. So that's a little late. The hatchery is probably like 15 seconds late. And he also needs to start upgrades. He hasn't started Roach Speed or Plus One Weapons yet. That's very important as well. Okay, he's being very greedy. This is too greedy. Definitely need to um, always have safety roaches. Uh, this is like this. This is gonna die to a lot of stuff because there's there's zero defense. So in the in the future, he definitely needs to make at least like five roaches at this point in time, just so that if he gets attacked by anything, he has something to initiate a defense with. Because having drones like this are uh, you're just asking to die. Like, uh, cause, so he's making roaches now, but. Definitely should have made those before he long distance mined the natural. And also, it's not even just about the drones of the long distance mining. It's about like not having a defense that could hit your natural as well. And if you start making roaches as you're getting hit by something, uh, that's going to be painful. And these roaches being made right after your... Okay, I don't know what those are. Uh, I think he might have forgot that he already has Evos. But anyways, if you... Uh, if you're waiting until, um, like, after you're fully saturated on two bases, and then you make roaches, that's already greedy as hell as it is. And you, you can get away with it, though, but, like, waiting until you're, like, halfway saturated on your third, then also to make roaches, you're asking to get attacked and killed by so much stuff. He's droning like a, ma a madman, though. It is going to make him max out faster, this game specifically, because obviously he hasn't been attacked yet, and he is uh, cranking the drones. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. His fourth base timing was uh, fine. He took it around six minutes, which is good. Du, 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 du. He should have upgrades going, though. I feel like... Um... Oh, he does. Just joking. He has two hydrogens, actually. So I think he's a little nervous right now. Like I think he's he's over he's building like a couple extra buildings of stuff. It's totally fine. Uh, it's uh, totally understandable. <laughs> right now he should be making roaches and hydras and stuff up to 120 supply and then going back into droning. I don't there we go. Uh, he's got a bunch of larvae at his third. I don't know if his third's hockeyed at the moment. It's not actually. He hockeyed his uh, fourth base at the top, but his main and natural are only being used. So that's definitely a blunder right there, for sure. It's going to definitely throw off everything. His infestation pit timing was fine. I, I, I think it's a good timing. And then if he goes... Uh, he also is missing gas on his main. Hopefully he fixed that. But right now he should be making drones again. Looks like he did... Uh, he should be droning up to like 85 drones right now. And, uh, yeah, just chilling on Roach Hydra for the time being. Also, he should be checking upgrades just to make sure they're still rolling. He just did. Okay. He was at his natural ease. You can see them for a second. I've, I've that shy. Is a, uh, his creep spread is also not bad. Like, I think his initial tumor hurt him quite a bit because that first tumor going the right direction is very important because it's you have you have so few tumors that you want to get. You want to, like, initiate a spread where you can, like, get something going out, f 
right away further out and then you can spread off of that that's really important to do that instead of spread inside your base but otherwise his creep shirt's been fine better than average at this at this rating definitely needs to take a hive the management of his resource mineral lines is not bad and he's taking to the base this is great I'd say this base is a little bit late by like 40 seconds, but still the idea is there. And it's not that bad as long as he does it within reasonable time. Because he's starting to mine out and he really needs another base to like support that. But as of right now, he's still fine. So it's, and the fact that he's starting it now is still good. Him not, him not having a hive though is definitely going to bite him in the ass. There we go. There's the hive. Because the reason why you want to have a hive faster, like his infestation pit was well timed, but. You want to have a hive faster so you can actually have 3-3 three, three with your upgrades a bit more smoothly. Yeah, and the only reason why he's not maxing out at a way better time than what it is already, like he's at 930 and he's not maxed yet, is because he's not spending any of the larvae at his third base. He has like 20 larvae on his third base because he's not hotkeyed. And obviously that's a mistake. Okay, we're about to talk to him. I think he's uh, coming back in. Yo, can you hear me? Yo, I can hear you. Uh, all right, so I would say uh, leave that game and then send me the send me the, yeah, send me the replay. Then I'll do the same thing for you and I'll walk you through what I saw and stuff like that. Cool. You, I think the biggest thing right there, that game, I don't know if you realized that you did it, but you never hotkeyed your third base. And I was wondering, I looked at the time, I was like, why was that so slow? Yeah, it, no, it's definitely that that screwed you. And I, I know I'm... So one more one more thing too that was a really 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 big thing that you'll definitely want to make sure you're on top of this um, in the future would be uh, when you're setting up your third base like after you take your natural or sorry after you saturate your natural fully and you're starting to set up your third base definitely make sure you make roaches before you make drones for your third and the only reason why that's so important mm -hmm. is it's not just because to protect the drones that are gonna like be going to your third. But also around that time, there's almost everyone in ladder is going to be having attack like some type. If if they want to attack you, they're going to be attacking you around then. And if you don't have if you don't have roaches that like, and it's not even about having like enough roaches immediately to defend it. The trick is having a few roaches that can buy you time to make, to make more so your drones aren't dying in the meantime. And that's so important. Yeah, I realized I was I was late on making the roaches there. Yeah, those two. Like other than that, you don't. Um, we'll, we'll go over it, but you did pretty well, honestly. Like your creep spread's pretty good. Uh, there's only one mistake you made with the creep, and it was where you put your first tumor. Otherwise, your creep is great. Yeah, um, so I should put the first tumor out, and then the second tumor in the base. Yeah, uh, that's yeah because you can uh, if you initially. Here, I'll, I'll jump into the replay now, and I'll share it with you really fast. Before I keep going here and getting carried away. All right, and I'm sharing my Starcraft screen. So. Yeah, we'll, we'll just we'll run through everything really fast here. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the initial part of the game, the only thing you could be doing better here is like when nothing's really going on, you could be grabbing drones off of far patches and putting them on close patches because that does overall mm -hmm. give you a little bit more money to work with. And if you ever if you ever have the problem, if it's like a new map and you're like, okay, I don't know which is the close patch and which is the far patch, the easiest way to tell without even having to look at where they're located is exactly 900 is far 1800 is close and stacking those is definitely uh, worth your while because yeah something so with stacking the minerals every time i try to do it it's like uh like especially after i get the full saturation on the first base mm -hmm. i'll like click around and i'll see okay this one has three and this one has one and then i send the third one to the one with one but then it gets there at the same time as the, the one drone mm -hmm. and then it just goes and fucks off and then i'm like okay i've been looking at this for four seconds i gotta just pretend it doesn't like I don't know like how to properly do it. So so, so it's it's the easiest way to do it is cuz again like it's it's totally fine to spend time on it right now cuz there's nothing else going on. And the yeah. a, a good timer in the game to keep in mind is if you're still trying to mineral stack your mineral line properly by 1 minute in the game, stop. Like it's 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 over. Like whatever you've done at that point, it's it's going to be what it is cuz I would never be like, okay, we're at 4 minutes and 30 seconds. You need to stack that mineral batch. <laughs> Like, that's definitely not priority at that time. Uh, but, like, right now, all you're doing is you're waiting for drones to spawn, and you're waiting for the Overlord to, like, start moving across the map. So there is literally nothing going on. Uh, so you have one minute to, like, stack it up. And the way to do it, 
is you can just try not to ever grab a drone off the mineral patch when it's like touching the mineral patch. The last thing in the world you want to do is you want you don't want to ever interrupt a drone mining minerals because then you're just wasting money anyways. What you want to do is you want to be like, okay, well this patch has two and that patch has two. Like these patches are not the patches right now that I want to have two because they're both far patches. So you want to wait for a drone to come back and as he like turns in minerals into the hatchery, send him to the patch that you want to send him on. And the best way you can do that is whatever drone is going to be second getting to the patch, if they're kind of close, you click that drone and you just spam right click that mineral patch for like a good like two seconds. And because right. it's the way it works is, is a drone takes like, it's like, uh, like two and a half to three seconds to mine. Yeah, if, it's, if it's there within like the first 40 seconds, it won't. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. Once it's like once once the drone is already mining is like sixty percent of the way through its job of mining or something like that, the drone that's now behind him is gonna queue up a command to go. Okay, we're gonna wait our turn to mine this. But if you tell him to mine and it's only like less than sixty percent of the way through it, it's gonna be like okay, this is too busy. Let's go somewhere else. So if you just right click it a couple Teach times, yeah, exactly. That's what I'll do and then it's it's too busy and then it leaves. Yeah, then if you send, if you tell it to go back again, most likely by that point it's gonna be like, okay, now we're good, and the AI okay. will be like, okay, we're 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 gonna stay now. And once it stay, once you do it one time like that, it'll forever be good. Okay. And to, unless you had to like pull your whole mineral line away for like an attack or some shit, obviously then it's different. Then you, then it just relocates itself wherever it wants. All right, and then your build was fine, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Your timer of your first hatchery. I had a good? question about the twenty. Sure. So I, I've noticed that um, by the time the that it's not like the twentieth larva, like the twenty second larva or whatever. By the time it comes out, like you already have enough money for the extractor. Can you build the extractor on nineteen and still have money for the drone as soon as the larva comes out? So the only the only reason why uh, I recommend people to do twenty is because it's about your gas. And it's about like when you're having certain amounts of gas. So you have the hundred gas. Exactly. It, exactly. If you if you properly make the pool and you properly make the queen, you should have a hundred gas right as your queen's done, which will take you okay. into a layer. And gas, gas is definitely not like something you want to stockpile. It's something you want to yeah. spend as you get. Uh, but minerals are something you want to stockpile. And it, you're still, even though you're like, let's say you're mining with like eighteen or nineteen out of sixteen, and it's red, you're still getting efficiency off those drones. It's, it's still is it, is it um the same amount as if it were 16 out of 16 no or do you so it's a slightly more it's so like if you have a 16 out of 16 mineral line and then you have two per patch okay the, the all your drones are getting a hundred percent efficiency of what they should be getting on each patch that they're on but if you have a third drone on any of the patches if it's on a close patch a third drone on a close patch is only gonna get like 50 percent efficiency or like maybe like forty percent. It's, it's like it, it. It really depends, but it's gonna be like like maybe even like less than fifty. It's gonna not yeah. be the greatest. And it's slightly more efficient on it, a far patch. Uh, well, a far patch will get about like eighty percent efficiency, and the only reason why is because there's less time spent waiting, more time spent mining. Yeah. So it's your the point is is you're still gonna get efficiency on uh e either patch. It's more than, and it's it's worth your while more than having gas before you need it, because you're not actually going for like roaches early or anything like that. So you're you're literally waiting on the layer. That's the only cost you have, and you can still afford it if you build the twenty, which is why I recommend build at twenty. Mm -hmm. And the more money you have, the easier it's going to be to make your queen on time, to make an, your third base faster, stuff like that. Yeah, the way you did it, like right as you hit 20, just taking a drone and building it is totally fine. Uh, I would say the only thing you want to make sure you don't do, though, in in the future, is just make sure you don't rip off a drone on a close, like a close patch, especially, and then have it go back down to one. I mean, if it, if it fixed itself pretty fast because you're oversaturated, but uh, yeah, I would say maybe even like, like for instance, like right here when you build the gas. Uh, right about. So you build your pool right now. Like, have like you could even have like that drone you just made right there. The drone after you make the pool, rally that egg to the gas, and that would also totally be fun. Okay. 
because you can see like it spawns like right now and this drone isn't already like this drone wouldn't be something that's been like optimized on a saturation of a mineral patch and you could have taken the gas instead of ripping this guy off yeah it makes sense Mm -hmm. All right, and then you're saturating your natural. Good stuff. And then taking the excess off and putting them to the natural is definitely correct because you, I mean, you're not going to get 100% efficiency above 16, but you are going to get 100% efficiency because you're saturating up to 16 again here. So that's good. And then I would say at this point, don't even worry about mineral saturation, like a two per patch, because at this point you're going to be dealing with a lot more stuff and your income is going to be a lot higher anyway. So it's not going to be as noticeable because you have more drones overall. Okay. It's always the main base. You always want to do the main base properly and then otherwise you're good. Layer was good. Third queen's good. And then you started your all of your larva first. This is correct. And then right now you should be making the roach horn, which I saw you do. And you made an evo chamber with it. You can definitely do it in the front of your base as well if you want to, um, but I, yeah, I usually you, do the wall yeah. against Zerg. But, yeah, um, you de definitely have to against Zerg. I yeah. would definitely recommend it as well against Terran in a normal game, uh, just because of Hellions. Like if, if if you have some type of a wall that can prevent Hellions from just driving in and killing all your drones, that's humongously beneficial for you. But I would I would say this is probably the best wall you can do against like Protoss, because having a wall in the front against Protoss, if they do like Stalker pressure or something. Uh, that's going to maybe be that's more annoying. Good. Yeah, it'll be more annoying than beneficial for you. Yeah. So definitely always place the creep going yeah. out and then the second one in. Yeah, so like you, you could even honestly have like your third tumor or your fourth tumor be the creep tumor that goes into your main base. And like the okay. like basically the, the main reason why to explain it in a way that hopefully it makes sense. The main reason why you want to have creep going forward out of your base is because every time you make the next tumor you're branching off what you already have. It's like having a tree that's growing and like it creates branches going left and right off of like the yeah, it's big like trunk. The same idea as like making drones really like you get exponential growth. You do yeah, exactly. So if you have like a a creep tumor that like already has creep down to here, you can branch off that way and you can branch off that way and have your initial creep still going forward towards the middle of the map. And you it creates like this it just you just have way faster creeps are going over the map entirely when it takes like if you were to think about time going from here to across the map to here would take you probably like 10 minutes with solid creep spread with like no interruptions and no no interruptions from your opponent but this going from here to there like is going to take you like exactly like one minute so like prioritizing the thing that takes one minute over the thing that takes 10 minutes is definitely going to just make the thing that takes 10 minutes now take like 11 minutes or 10 30 it's just going to take longer now when this is still just going to be done doing nothing for a long time And the the main thing this 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 is something that'll probably uh, make it more uh, just easier to understand. The main reason why you want to have a creep tumor in your main like this is to stop air harassing you. And realistically, against most things in this game, you're not going to get harassed by air until between the the mark of like four to five minutes. Okay. <coughs> yeah. So it's yeah. It's just for queen mobility is the only reason why this is important. And then obviously vision too is always nice, but yeah. And so I was taking the third at this time. Fine, I just need to make sure I, I yeah get I was out before I saturate it. Yeah, so I was actually I was talking about this like while I was watching you, and uh, let's talk about this for a second. This is really important. Um, so like right now you're spending all your money, which is great. You have your your middle line is really well saturated. Uh, it's it's very good. Everything looks great right now. What you should be do what what should be happening right now is you should be kind of like adjusting about how much money you're going to be spending and how much like tr just trying your best to basically guesstimate okay if i send a drone to a location i want to be getting there as i have 300 that's the best way to expand and you, you already did it perfectly when you first took your natural that was the way you took your natural was great uh but now at this point your larva injects popping off you're gonna spend more larva right now which is great totally good but like if you spend your larva right now, for instance, you could spend another 150 and you're going to be like fully saturated on this base. If you, you know, you already have drones of reduction and if you were to spend these on whatever, be it drone or overlord or roach, you're going to be, you're going to be spending a lot of your money, but you're going to also at this point in time, you're generating money pretty fast. You're generating 1600 minerals a minute. So 
you're going to be getting 300 like you know pretty quickly so like right now i would say as you're going to be starting to saturate your gases you should be taking one just one drone off the mineral line and at this point definitely take it off the mineral line don't wait for an egg uh that's totally fine because time is way more important now you're not you're not really waiting on stuff send one drone to whatever third you want to take that way as you get there you can instantly start your third base uh, okay. and so is that um, like as the second larva? This is the second injection, right? Because mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out like uh, like the benchmarks really help me. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah. Make the roach warren in the first evo chamber as soon as I spend the first inject, and then like so as the second inject pops off, that's when I need to be, like everything will line I'm up. I'm like, pretty sure this is like the third inject, uh, okay. just because you uh, this is yeah, a ton of larva. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the the big point is is the the big the big checkpoint that you want to make sure like the, so cuz like if you get attacked the larva inject isn't going to always be the best thing to read off of uh okay. cuz it could you might lose something there like you might lose drones you might have to still make more but the big one to keep in mind is the second your hatchery is fully saturated at the natural your money is going to explode and that once that hits that point too where you're fully saturated you're basically done you, you might still obviously need to make a few more for the gases and that's fine but you're, there's not much more that needs to be made, and your money is going to sp uh, generate way faster than you're going to spend while you're still droning, which you are because you're filling up the gases. So, like right now, when you're when you're fully saturated and you're you just spent your larva, which is always the priority, immediately send a drone to oh, your third yeah. to get ready to uh, to get ready to take uh, the just, just the third base. Yeah, so it's because, yeah, you, you want to definitely... The, so this is something that's huge to understand. The big difference that I'm explaining here, that's that's huge and will help you it just shave seconds constantly off your builds, is don't wait until you have enough money to go, hey, drone right now, build right there. And the drone goes, okay, I'm queuing up a build command right here and I'm running across all the way over and doing that. You don't want to do that. You want to run across before you have the money for it. So that way, as you get like here, you're saying build there and then it just builds immediately so yeah the third could be a could have been a little bit faster for sure and then uh upgrades too these are definitely something you don't want to neglect you want to definitely make sure you're on top of these asap and the second these buildings are done like this is not the number one priority so let's just say hypothetically there was larva that need that needed to be spent definitely spend the larva first but okay. your money's gonna queue up so quickly that as soon as you have enough money to do it, it's a, and it's 100 minerals and 100 gas for both upgrades here for weapons and also speed. Once you have enough money to do it, once you've spent your larva, definitely get these upgrades ASAP. Okay. Your injects are good though. And like this queen, I would say this queen could be spreading more creep faster too. Definitely spend your energy as you get it. Don't save energy. Yeah, I definitely, uh, I like misclicked or something. I tried to put that creep to me there. Yeah, you're all, you're all good. Uh, cause like right now, if I had to if I had to give you a, a like a estimation, your creep right now, if this was like your first tumor going this way, your creep could already be covering like your the third and the fourth, right? Yeah, like you would you would already be covering your base with creep, which would make it way easier to defend and way easier to see stuff attacking you. And your creep going this way would already be like right there. Like you definitely have a lot, would have a lot more creep. But overall, your creep was not bad, though. I think your creep is definitely still above par as to where you're at in the game. Awesome. I've been, I've been trying to work on it because it's like, when I'm actually in the game, I'm like, holy shit, this sucks. My creep <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, like, right right here, though, this is the, the scary part where it's, in a, like I was saying, this is kind of was referenced earlier, where you definitely need to have the roaches before you make these drones specifically, which yeah. is, and it's not even a lot, just like five roaches, you're, and you're fine. Uh, just be, just because like these drones, if you didn't get it attacked, obviously these drones would just die. But a lot of people right around now, if in a standard game, will be attacking you if they want to attack you with something about now. Mm -hmm. And if you have like five roaches, most people will just turn around and be like, okay, you have something. Like if, if they're harassing you, they'll just turn around and be like, okay, he's got defense. Let's not mess with that. Obviously, if they're all inning you, they're not going to turn around. But that still buys you time to now make more stuff where your drones aren't just going to get like steamrolled. Where while you're waiting for roaches to spawn, so that's a huge thing. Definitely want to make sure you don't mess that up in the future in real games because you will get like you will literally lose probably forty percent of your games if you don't make roaches like that. It's a huge, a huge problem if it's not done properly. 
Yeah, and the way you make your second Evo and your Hydrogen as you're starting to saturate the third is good. I like it. And right now, too, when uh, uh, another thing, too, if you want better, if you want to really like push yourself on creep spread, this is something you can totally do. When you start your third base, priorities should be okay, starting right third, spinning my larva, getting my upgrades. The second you have a little bit of extra money again while doing all these things and prioritizing those first, make a fourth queen. And that way, when their fourth queen, uh, when it spawns, you can just be like, hey, queen, we're injecting the third base with you. So you have a queen, like, ready to inject the third as it finishes. And this way, you can you can always have a creep spreading queen the whole time. And this queen just keeps putting tumors down nonstop, and that you're also not missing injects. And then by the time you take your fourth base, you could have this queen already have planted down, like, let's say, like, 15 tumors, which is going to give you spread in every direction, like, constantly, like, every just going all over the place. That are, and they can keep spreading themselves on themselves repeatedly going forward. And then you can have this queen just inject your fourth base. And that way you can have super crazy macro with it too. But yeah, if your third was faster, you'd be long distance mining a lot less. So that that's definitely a, would definitely help you too. Just being able to generate faster. <laughs> okay, and then so like right here when your hatchery is done and it's not being injected that's definitely something you want to avoid as much as possible okay you want to definitely always have injects rolling the whole time on all hatcheries there we go you do it now so you're, you did I'm, I, I can't I couldn't remember if you made a fourth queen or not but you did I, I love that you did that Definitely make it a little faster, like we yeah, just talked about. Yeah, I always about. do. I just, yeah, it's one of those things, like, since I don't have, like, a good benchmark for it, I just am like, oh, yeah, it's fourth queen time. You know, I'm just, like, including yeah. it. Definitely do it and right I, after the third, for sure. Okay. Yeah. yeah that way, because that way, it, like, the reason why it's so good is just because it doesn't stall out your injects, and it doesn't stall out your creep. And, it like, these things just keep going. And they're all, they're always, like, full power. And then right now is about that time when, um, and I, I obviously, I think this, uh, so I'm, I'm assuming that this was oh. obviously a mistake and this is not oh, yeah. intentional. Uh, but yeah, that, that's just, obviously this is, this is something that would detour or like slow you down by maybe like your max that will be now be slower by like 10 seconds, 15 seconds. Cause you're going to have an extra expense. That's not necessary, yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's fine. Yeah, exactly. It's just, it, it, it was, it's not like, oh, this is awful, but it does slow you down a little bit. So obviously, I, and I, I already assumed it was a mistake, so I don't have to harp on you about it. And another, like your fourth base timing was perfect, by the way. Uh, a, a, like an interesting timing to do. So, this, so your first natural and third, obviously you start with the first base. The natural you did perfectly at 16. The third base we talked about how as soon as you're saturated on um, the the mineral line, get ready to send a drone to it so you can instantly take it once you have the money for it, once you spend your larva. And even if the drone is sitting there for like five seconds, that's actually fine. It's better to do that and be there a little early than it is to be way too late. Yeah. Um, but from then on, a good checkpoint to keep in mind, okay? is every two uh, starting at six minutes every two minutes you take another base so at six minutes you take your fourth base at eight minutes you take your fifth base at 10 minutes you take your sixth base at 12 minutes you take your seventh base so every like if you're if you're somewhat keeping tabs on the clock just yeah. know that if you're like like if, if t like some time has gone by and you're like oh shit we're at 13 10 and i haven't expanded in like a few minutes it's just expand right now and always just try to keep on, like, and if, once you get really good at it, once if, if you get better and better at it, if you're actually, like, uh, keeping tabs on it where it's like, okay, I'm at 7.30, and I already expanded for the, the six-minute checkpoint, and now I'm getting ready to expand at the eight-minute checkpoint. That's where you, where you want to be, because if you're, exp the reason why this is important, okay, if you do it like this, is if you expand it every two, if you, droning, if you, if overall you are droning up to about 85, and you are expanding every two minutes at six and going forward with that, as your bases tend to finish, you're going to be like, mineral field depleted, mineral field depleted, mineral field depleted. Oh, well, I have another base ready to go. And then your next base is going to happen two minutes later. Mineral field depleted, mineral field depleted, yeah. mineral field depleted. Same thing. It's going to keep happening over and over and over. 
So you're going to have access to patches constantly and not have these situations where it's like, oh shit, I'm on four bases and like I have out of 85. Five and six really like right now. Yeah. yeah. So I have like out of like 85 drones, instead of having all 85 being efficient, you have like 72 of them efficient and 13 of them are oversaturated. You know, that's the thing you'll avoid if you do it like this, which is only going to make it better for you for like constant macro beyond your first max. And yeah, this is the, the definitely that moment where your third base isn't hockeyed, so you're just going to yeah. have all this larva chilling here. Which, that's super painful. That's like a third of your entire larva right now, so it'll definitely slow you down. Yeah, I'm usually at a whole minute faster when I finish the clock. Like, oh, you totally would be. Because the thing, the thing that really sucks is, is you're no, you're, you're no longer getting generation off this hatchery. Because it's... It's just not it, it, well, yeah, it's, it's 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 always over three, which means it doesn't generate yeah. now by itself. So that's a humongous loss of larva. Like yeah, and then also injects cap out to it, like eighteen larva. So every time you inject beyond that point, it, the larva just like it just dies midair. It's like oh, there's too many. So that I mean that definitely slowed you down. That, that would speed you up a ton if you had that hockey. And a good a good way to fix that in the future would be always every single time you make a hatchery. Always kind of keep tabs on that because again, this is the per it's the perfect comparison to what I said a second ago. Of do not tell a drone to build a hatchery from the mineral line. Tell it to go there. Exa exactly. If you build, if you say drone, go to the third, and then it goes to the third, and then you're not tying up your minerals. Doing so now you can do other things like still spend your larva and do upgrades and m make a queen or whatever you're gonna do. Uh, you can do all these things, and as the drone gets there, you make it and immediately hotkey it in your in your existing hotkey, and then you don't have to remember to go back and hotkey it ten yeah, seconds yeah. later because it's crossing. That's what I've been doing. I've been like, okay, don't forget. And then, okay. Yeah, yeah, that, that's, it makes it way harder. So definitely send the drone and then build as you get there. <laughs> and then this too, uh, upgrades wise. Uh, I do think like your uh, your 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 building time, like these four buildings right here, they were all greatly timed. Okay, those are all perfect. I don't really have any complaints about them. But I do think your upgrade usage could be a little bit faster mm -hmm. because the reason why I, I was talking about this during the game when I was watching you, uh, your. Upgrades were kind of stalled out, and your infestation pit was really well timed. But the infestation but pit, the it, it, well, like the 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 you never made the hive for a mm -hmm. super long time off of the so like you made the infestation pit, and that the whole purpose of it is to make the hive. But then you delayed yeah. the hive super long, and you delayed your upgrade super long. So basically, you were like, and and it, the way it would work out in a game is you would be like two two when you could have been three three. Yeah, exactly. So it's just it's it's something to keep tabs on whenever you can. Um, it's I. I this is this is harder to explain. This is really kind of just like muscle memory or like it's just a game of like feel and experience. Like, oh yeah, I, my upgrade should be finishing soon. Um, one of the best things you are good. Sorry. I usually listen listen for like the mutation finished. I get thrown off when it's like it'll say mutation finished. And I look and it was like the hydro upgrade. Sure. And then the next one, I'm like, what? Just another hydro upgrade. Don't even need to. <laughs> one thing, you, yeah. One, one thing you can do for yourself to make it your life a little easier on this department is you can just make a habit out of making a second control group, which for, the for chambers. yeah, for like so you could be like well, you could start with the spawning pool, you could add a roach horn to it, add your evos to it, add your hydra to it, and you can make this like control four. And whenever you whenever you're doing macro cycles and you're like five, make larva, five, make larva, you could really quickly just hit four, and then look at these really just just you don't have to like actually go to them like this and stare at them on the screen. You so could just look. There. Yeah, exactly. They would have a white dot. So it would look like this. There would be white dots in the buildings if they were doing something. And if you know if there is a white dot, it is doing something. And you know if there is not a white dot, it means the building is is vacant and you want upgrades to be constantly going. Yeah. So like a Roach Warren and a Hydrogen, those are just like one time things and you're done. But Evo Chamber definitely would be something you'd want to take a look at. And the Evo Chamber is also prioritized first out of this subgroup so it's always going to be like the first building in the, in the list uh it, it just takes the highest priority so you could just be like oh cool evo chamber one of them is let's pretend you have two one of them is doing nothing one of them is doing something okay that means i'm ready to go and then immediately if you have these buildings selected like this 
You can tell what is ready and what is not ready by looking to the right over here and going, ah, it's missile upgrade that is currently available, which means Carapace is still being researched. So, and what that tells you, and that, that right there, going, okay, I'm ready to start a missile upgrade. That tells you if I have not yet started my infestation pit, I need to start it and get ready to make a hive. Because that way I can actually properly go to 3-3. Three, three. Okay. Usually the time I make the infestation pit is when the first mineral patch gets depleted at the main. Is that? So you should be, you should be, so this is perfect timing for upgrades. You should be starting infestation pit as soon as you start rust plus two weapons. Okay. Perfect. So that like your infestation pit was really well timed. That like overall in the game, how you built it, it was well timed, but the only problem was you delayed your upgrades like crazy. Yeah. So it wasn't useful. So like it didn't, it didn't, yeah, it didn't synergize. It didn't like line up together. And the, re the reason why this works out is because if you, if you look at timers, okay, Infestation Pit is a 36 second upgrade, or like a 36 second build time, and then a Hive is a 71 second upgrade on the hatchery. So those together, 30, uh, 71 plus 36 is 107, which is just short of two minutes. But now if you look at plus two weapons, it's 136. So essentially what happens is, is if you start Infestation Pit, a little bit before that's like perfect because it's a longer upgrade but this accounts for like i guarantee there's gonna be plenty of games where this is gonna happen to you you're gonna start plus two weapons and you're gonna build an infestation pit and you're gonna be distracted by something in the game that's gonna be happening as the infestation pit's finished and you're ready to start the hive then maybe 10 seconds goes by and you're like oh yeah start the hive now people do it all the time and it's still okay. totally fine but like you have that cushion where it's like okay I, it ta only takes 107 seconds for the hive, whereas it takes 136 for the upgrade. So that means you have like 19 seconds of, uh, is it, it was, is it 29? No, it's 19 seconds, right? Or no, it's 29. I'm sorry. It's 29 seconds. You have, you have 29 seconds of like wiggle room there. If you mess up, um, to like, you know, be like, oh yeah, I need to start the hive 20 within 29 seconds of my infestation bit finishing. And it still would be perfect. And if you get really good at it, obviously you can make the infestation pit like 29 seconds before you start this, like 29 seconds into your plus one if you're like looking for flawless timers. Yeah. And and that would be huge. Like So that's something as well. I don't expect you to know these things right now, but as you grow as a player, you definitely want to like understand timers of what things are. And it really like it, like it, it explains like, okay, well, that's why we do this. Like yeah, yeah. this is this is why this makes sense is because this takes this much time and it lines up perfectly with other things. <laughs> but yeah, from this point on, honestly, I think your creep spread's not bad. Uh, your 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 injects are honestly pretty decent. Um, I think they could be slightly better, but like it's still like for the league you're in, I think you're doing just fine. I think you're actually macro wise, I do think you're above the league you're in a little bit. Uh, and creep wise, I think you're above the league you're in a little bit. I still think you get all the reasons why we talked about. I still think you can get better at it, but I do think you're doing a good job. And I, I honestly think this game, if you just made your third base hockey, you would have, you would yeah. already be close to maxing right now. Yeah. I, like I said, I usually am like between like 820 and 840 is like when I'm playing against AI max. Yeah. Time. That's, that's honestly, that's a very respectable timer, honestly. That's like not bad at all. And what I'm trying to do is like really grind it out so that when I get attacked, it's not like I have to remember to do shit. I just mm -hmm. keep doing it. Automatic. No, exactly. That's exactly what you should. That that's the perfect mindset. So you, like yeah. this game is so much subconscious that yeah, like, yeah. like 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 I could do like thirty of these trial runs in the time it would take me to play like twelve games. Yeah. So it's like, let me just do these a hundred times and then. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's, it's a good, shit. perfect. It's a, yeah, it's a good mindset because like a, a lot as you grow as a player at this game, you're gonna realize that a lot of these mundane tasks that are just repetitive, you don't even think about. You just do it, and you actually think about other things that are situational to the game and like right now too obviously i know your money's really high because your third is not hockeyed but like this would be that moment where eight minutes this is when you'd want to be taking your next base like we talked about earlier because right now your patches are starting to disappear and a, a good here's a good checkpoint as well to understand okay and this is something that this is actually i i've noticed when i coach people this is something i talk about a lot and i'm going to just kind of pre preface this for you really quickly too because i do think it's very relevant and it's very knowledgeable on how to attack your opponent okay every eight minutes that goes by you can expect patches to start disappearing from that base so at the start of the game you had this base right right off the bat 
and eight minutes has now gone by and you're starting to deplete patches. And the exact same thing would be happening for your opponent. Yeah, so in 10 minutes, if they're still on two bases or if they only have a third, they're like only mining off one base. Sufficient. Well, so like, yeah, because but the thing is like, uh, only half the patches will start disappearing. You have another eight minutes until the patches actually disappear. So like okay. it, it takes eight minutes for half the patches to disappear, then it takes 16 minutes for all the patches to start disappearing. So if so you th at 24 minutes, they're mined out of their man and natural completely. It'll be even quicker than that, honestly, because at 16 minutes, the main's going to be pretty much depleted. And then most of the time at like 18 minutes to maybe 19 minutes, the oh, yeah, natural is going to be depleted because yeah. Yeah, it's it, usually the natural is like pretty well saturated, like three within the first three minutes of the game. Like it's, it's starting to be saturated within three minutes of the game. Uh, so it's going to mine out a lot faster as well. Um, but then like, so if you think about that, if like now we're at minute 19 in the game and let's say you guys are battling the, the last thing in the world that's relevant to you is to like attack into the natural. And I've noticed yeah. a lot of players have obsessions with attacking into the natural. They don't want to scout around the map. And if you do scout around the map and you kill existing new expansions and you put the, your opponent back on the bases that he already has had the whole game, then he can't, exactly. It doesn't matter how much production he has if he's broke and he dies. It's it's such a huge thing for players to understand. And if you do, it, you have so much more like ability to control the game. Uh, 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 uh. And then also, even if like they still have other bases, the fact that they're mining inefficiently, if you're not letting them have as, as perfect bases, like, if, for instance, like you taking a base right now, it would, would have been huge. And if you can prevent that from happening from your opponent with this kind of an army right now, again, huge. Because now, even though they, they're still mining, their mining would just go down in efficiency. But overall, definitely not bad. Uh, I We're, we're kind of running to the end here but um for for this replay but if you like we can um i we, you want to try and run it again and do it a second time um yeah sure let's do it okay so before you do it uh is there would you like me to give you one quick final refresher as to like the things uh, that i if, yeah, yeah, uh, go ahead. okay so the way you did your main great just try to mineral stack and within the first minute, otherwise great. The way you did your natural, remember to send a drone down to your third base from the natural as soon as you're like at 16 drones in the mineral line and, you, and you're and you spending the larva that's about to happen. So larva is always priority. And then yeah. just try to get try to get the drone to the third at about 300. And then from, and then everything else otherwise, you did great. Um, and then uh, the, the only other thing is once you build that third base, remember to build a fourth queen so that you can have at, and you can creeps. You can do like creeps right as much as you want with the uh, the extra queens. But remember, as soon as the hatchery is about to finish at your third, park a queen next to it. So it's immediately being injected like you're made in natural. And then right. for, uh, that's it. For other than that, just try to max out as fast as you can. And the final thing would be at six minutes. Just remember to always have another base being started every two minutes beyond that point. So at, at 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, blah, blah, blah. Always take another base, another base, another base. Okay. All right, let's see how I do. I'm going to mute again just get in the zone. Sure, go for it, man. All right. Yo, Rushy, thank you for the uh, raid, dude. Much love. Welcome to a coaching lesson. I'm uh, coaching a uh, 2,500 Zerg at the moment. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> I was watching the wrong stream. My bad. I was watching my own stream. Okay, so we'll see how he does here. <laughs> see that mineral stacking he almost messed that up but he still did it fine as long as he doesn't interrupt a mineral collection it's fine he actually told the drone to do it as it had the minerals in its hand that's that's still fine he's got one patch still not double saturated on the very top of the base it's not the biggest deal but it, it definitely does give you more money if you stack properly It 
it's definitely worth your while. Because basically, you have a efficient drone mines one mineral per second, and that top patch could have. I I like if I if you wanted my guess from what I watched here just now, I feel like he could be probably like fifteen minerals ahead, if he stacked the, uh, all the close patches properly. It's not like detrimental. Like oh my god, it's so massive. Like he can obviously still afford all of his stuff he's that he's getting as he gets it, but it would just it it kind of like scales in a way where if you have a little bit more money and you have a larva sitting on your hatchery. And let's say it took you like two seconds to wait for them enough money to build it, to, to build the drone. Whereas if you mineral stacked properly, you could have built it immediately. That's two more seconds as well that that drone mines now that it wouldn't have mined otherwise, which is if a drone mines about mineral per second, that's another two minerals. And if it happens to like five larva in a row like that, you know, that's, it adds up over time. And also if you can, if you see a drone constantly being like, I can't go here, I can't go there, I can't go here, I can't go there. And it, let's say it runs around the middle line for like 17 seconds doing nothing because it keeps being like, I can't mind that, I can't mind this. And then it finally gets a place to park at. That's If it did that for 17 seconds, that's 17 minerals you could have had. Which is, it it, it literally adds up with, when, you can, when you do all of it. And it could be things like a faster spawning pool, which in turn makes faster queens, which makes the more faster larva. Guess we should make him a lawyer. He is. Good shit. <coughs> yeah, this coaching lesson's almost over, but welcome, guys. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, he's muted right now, so he can't hear me, but uh, I'm just still giving him kind of notes during the, his games so he can go listen to the VOD later. So right now, he should be spinning this larva and making a roach horn and a in an evo chamber. Like right now. Okay, Roach one Evo Chamber a little late. And also you should be sending a So he'd actually skip the Roach Warren this time entirely. This is definitely scary. In a, in a real game, this would be super scary. I do like the third base. The third base was is amazing. I love that he's already there, ready to do it. That's a really good third. But the Roach Warren Evo Chamber was definitely late. By like probably 15 seconds 10 like 10 15 seconds and that could be very scary if you got attacked by someone doing a timing otherwise he's doing a great job i can't really cr critique too hard here um like everything else i was telling him to do he's definitely doing he's getting the queen going he's got creep going the right direction uh, his priority of, of resources is great um the only problem, again, is his roaches this time. The roach horn's late, which is in turn going to make roaches late. He's making roaches right now, though. So, yeah. Pretty good. Overall, pretty good. And he also started upgrades, too. Which is very important. And now he could totally be making drones again. And just going for that third saturation. And right now, after he spins his larva, this is when he'd want to make an infestation pit. Or, uh, sorry, uh, a hydrogen and a second evo. But after he spins the larva. He's got a queen going to the third. I hope he injects the third. Inject your main and natural. Perfect. Oh. Yeah, this is perfect. Okay, so his, yeah, his overall timers on this stuff is doing pretty good. He wants to make sure he doesn't leave that 14 out of 16 on the natural, though. Definitely wants to grab two drones and put it back on it. He's got also too many drones sitting up there doing nothing on the gas. I, I think he misrallied that. And let's see, let's see if he does this. This is really important. He should be starting a third base in 30 seconds. So if he's doing it really well, he should be sending a drone to the... Th to the or the, a fourth base. He should, be, he should be sending a drone to the fourth base in about 10 seconds. Like at 550, he should send a drone to the fourth. This is hard for people to keep on top of, but it's really important. It's like right now, a drone should go to the fourth. And he should be making, at this point too, he should be making nothing but roaches. Because he's fully saturated on three bases. So like right now, fourth. 
And now every second that goes by, it's delayed. And it's all it's going to do is make it harder now to... Uh... Oh, okay, good. Yeah, not, not bad. Within, within like, you know, the 15 seconds or so, that's not bad at all. That's definitely good. Like it's uh, it's I, I was fully expecting it to maybe be like seven minute plus when uh, that would go down. The only problem he's really having right now is definitely that uh, gas in the main is definitely wasting drone time, and he's also undersaturating some of his bases uh, by you know building buildings and not replacing. But otherwise, doing a very good job. This is better than his first go. I also like how he splits his army. <laughs> now, how's his upgrades looking? I'm curious. Because he should have level 2 weapons already being started. I don't know if he did it. He might have done it through a hockey. I just didn't notice it. He does. He, d he actually does. I can tell. So, that's really good. Upgrades, way better this time. Way fucking better this time. Because like, the second upgrade is super delayed. Uh, or, or super late. Or it's like super early. Which means it's the second upgrade. Then that upgrade, see, if you guys notice, that upgrade's finishing his natural right now. He should definitely be starting another upgrade right now for Carapace. He did it. Boom. He, I, I literally just watched him do it in bottom right. Yeah, he's on He's on point with that shit. Way more this game than he was last time. He's actually going to have a really nice 3-3 timer now. And he's actually doing the hotkey of the Evo Chambers, which is fucking sick. He's doing a way better job. And he fixed the natural and he fixed the third. The only thing that's a problem is his main gas at the third, very top gas, but which is just two drones being inefficient, uh, which is not that huge in the grand scheme of things. And he's getting very close to maxing. And he takes it the, 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 perfect. I was I didn't even talk about it, but he took he's taking a it's twenty seconds late or so, like thirty seconds late, but still he's taking the next base at eight minute plus. And eight eight minutes is like exactly what you want to go for, but he's doing it close enough anyways. It's it's not bad at all. And his creep spread looks pretty solid. <coughs> Yo. Yo, uh, bro. Much, much, much better that time. Yeah, totally. Uh, uh... Yeah, like your your creep was way stronger. Your the expansion timers were way better. You actually did a... Uh, I would give you a pretty like good score or whatever on taking your fourth base and your fifth base because it was way, way, way better this time than it was last time in terms of like... You took your third, or, or, or sorry, you took your fourth base at six minutes and like uh, like fifteen seconds or so, and you took your uh, fifth base at like eight thirty. Uh, the again, perfect timers would be six and eight minute exactly, but you like it was still on point enough to like be very powerful. It's it's still relevant enough to like it. You didn't hit that point where it's like okay, this is now way too far behind and this is awful. Uh, yeah, so it, it's yeah. still very good the way you did it. Your upgrades were amazing this time, um, and yeah, I see you. Yeah. Overall, way better. Like, I, I have nothing but, like, positive things to say about what you did. Yeah, awesome. I'm just trying to make it so I can do that, like, every game. And then, because it's still, like, frantic. You know, I'm like, ah, I got to remember to do this. got to remember to do that. I want mm -hmm. it to be, like, like the first, like, three minutes I can do. I'm, like, sleeping, you know? And, yeah. Like, that's what I want for the first nine minutes. I, I, that's yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm really glad you think like that because it's so hard to convince people to think like that sometimes. That it, this game oh, is so yeah. subconscious. Uh, yeah, for like the macro side of it, so that's super good that you already think that way. Yeah, I uh, I don't know. I, I watched your B to GM series like from bronze to platinum. And I was like, I was like, I can do this so easily. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, this is like, there's nothing. You're not doing anything hard. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I just have to learn how to do it. Exactly. It's just yeah. It's just knowing priorities, and it's like, yeah. for instance, it's knowing like, okay, so if you prioritize minerals over gas and you can do all this, like you can explode really fast with all these things that cost minerals and it's really great. And then things like the way you optimize how you send your drone to your third, super good, this game. Like the changes you all, like that we talked about that you'd made, it, it definitely uh, made everything flow a lot better. And this, like this game you were, you would have had a really strong timing and a really strong follow-up to that timing at when you first maxed out. Yeah, I was because, fucking... 
Yeah, like your your your, your expansions beyond three bases were really nice. And your 3-3 timing would be huge. And if you have a 3-3 timing that's solid, that's not, like, delayed because you messed it up, yeah, it no, makes your army uh, so much stronger. Are just not upgrading. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what much, much better, dude, overall, over the first uh, bit. Like, you, uh, your first bit was not even that bad, honestly. It was like, I still yeah, think you were playing above. I, I made an extra Evo Chamber, an extra Hydra Den. Yeah. I've been hockey my third. Exactly. I like still was sub-10 minutes, so I was like, oh, that's not bad. Yeah. Like, I, I honestly, like, the... Like, if you want my honest opinion, I think you were playing above 2,500 with your first game I saw uh, a bit. And then this game I just saw just now, definitely playing way more solid even then. So, I, I just keep doing that. Keep practicing what you just did. And apply it to, like, real games, too, because you, there there will be times where you get distracted. And yeah, uh, sure. the, the only thing, the biggest weakness I think you have in your gameplay is the roaches. Because uh, this game as well... You actually went for third before Roach Warren. Like, you were setting that up initially, and your Roaches were a bit yeah, late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, just fix the Roach, the, the, the first five Roach thing. Fix that. Really focus on that, too. And you have, you're going to have, like, a really strong playstyle going forward. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for, man. It's like, I still win most of my games, and it's like, like, I'll maybe I'll lose to an all-in early, and I'm like, okay, well, I... Maybe I didn't, uh, like, because I didn't make my five roaches or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes I will have trouble with, like, uh, like, say so I'll run into a Terran who's on, like, two, maybe three bases, and he's got, like, seven siege tanks. I just throw my whole army into it because I'm not looking. And yeah. then I'm like, well, I could look, or also I could just max out a minute faster, and he has two siege tanks. And yeah, no, max. exactly. Yeah, you should definitely not even care. And, they, like, yeah. the, the thing about it, too, is is that's the concept. If, you, if the guy has, like, if he's turtling and he has a lot of powerful units, that's the concept where... Yeah, yeah, like I don't take a third or fourth or fifth. Exa exactly. You just don't give a shit about the natural. You don't give a shit about the main. You just let him have his production where he's the most defensive, and then you just kill his his future economy so he can't sustain those buildings. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and then um, yeah, no, like uh, the last thing too is if you, if you're ever if, if uh, this is a good tip going forward for you in the future when you play like just uh, players through the ladder. If you ever find yourself struggling, dying to all ins, and you're like, okay, I'm fucking all in again, I got all in again, and then I'm dying here, I'm dying there, start reprioritizing a wall in every matchup, even against Protoss. If you're like, okay, this Protoss just charged a lot all in me, or whatever, uh, or he adept pushed me, having a, having uh, your initial buildings go in the front of your ramp, you can always, can, like, if, if you notice that, like, okay, I'm about to get pushed and he's attacking my third, it's totally viable to. If it's like before you're ready and you're still in the drone phase, that means that this dude clearly is not on three bases and he's doing it all in. And you can more you're more than welcome to try to evacuate your drones from your third and send them back to the natural if you can. But if you can't, you can just literally wall out your natural, like wall it off with evos and just build units. And behind that, there's a very high chance you will come out of that ahead. Cool, cool. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah. Uh, that, that that's one of the reasons why having a wall in front of your natural is definitely going to help because it, it already initiates part of the wall, so it makes it easier to fill it out if you need to. Yeah. But otherwise, do you have any do you have any questions about stuff we talked about? Um. No, honestly, I don't. I don't think so. I think you pretty much. I was just looking for those benchmarks, like like you said, those every two minutes make a new base. Mm -hmm. I really got to make sure I make those first six roaches. Yeah, that, that is that, honestly, I think that's your weakest part of your gameplay. Yeah. If you fix that, you're gonna have so much more success against people who harass you. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I just gotta keep doing this and like make them my number one priority. It's like don't forget. Those yeah, <laughs> it's 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 really and that's also off that game too. It's your second inject, by the way. Uh, I was watching. Uh, like the, your, you, the amount of larvae you have by the second inject is when. So you, so it was the second inject. That's yeah, the it's second inject. Like, you drone, or yeah. I don't drone. I make six roaches, and then I take. Well, like, so yeah, your your first inject. So this is how it's basically how it goes. Your first inject uh, is after it pops off and you spend all the larva. That's when you make the roach worm. That's when you make the evo. Your yeah. second inject when it pops off, you're probably gonna make drones again because you're not gonna have the the goal of the number you're aiming for is you're trying to get to 42 drones. You're trying well, you're trying to get 42 because you're not going to 44 because you're not gonna saturate the fourth gas yet, and 44 would be including the fourth gas. But if you go so to, do you want to make the six roaches before I make my second gas in my main? Yes. Okay. So you want to go to 42 drones because 41 drones is perfect saturation with three gases. And then that 42nd drone is going to be your third base. And okay. then as you have 42 drones, immediately make five six roaches 
and then go right back to droning until you're at like one until you're uh, at fully saturated on three bases. Yeah. yeah. And that would be perfect. And that second inject that pops off, that's once you as you're spinning the larva on that second inject, that's about the time you want to tell the drone, "Hey, go to the third base." Okay. And so if if everything is timed out perfectly, while that drone is heading to the third base, I should have six roach eggs. Mhm. Mm okay. Because you, and you'll be making them. You're not going to make them off the inject. Keep that in mind. You're most likely going to be making drones there to fill up to get up to 42. Yeah. But as you're making more larva, you're going to be making roaches as they as they spawn like one by one by one out of your hatcheries. Okay. Um, and then by the time your third inject pops off, you might need to make a couple of roaches to finish off the roach. But you'll have like let's say like three already out, two in production, and you might make like one more off of the inject or something like that. That probably okay. will be how it will go. And then you go back to droning, and then the rest of those larvae of off of that uh, pop there, off your larva inject, will go back into being rallied to your third to do all larva, or, or all drones again with that larva and overlords if you need them. Got it. Yeah. I'm, I'm stoked. And I don't know, man. That VGGM series was seriously like, I played a lot of StarCraft when it came out, mm -hmm. like in 2011 or whatever, and I was yeah. garbage. I like did not know how to do anything. And then, like, the first PTGM video I watched, I was like, I've never played like this, and this is effortless. Like, you were just, like, AFK the whole game. Yeah, no, it's 100%. 100%. Like, it's it's about just understanding how to genuinely, ma like, manipulate the, the economy in this game. Because a lot of people, what they do when they try to learn StarCraft is they watch pro gamers play. And they're like, oh, well, I'm just going to watch MLG, or I'm going to watch uh, DreamHack, yeah. or I'm going to watch GSL. And it's, oh, I'll, I'll like, play, like, play like, that. yeah, I'm going to play like this guy. And the thing about play styles like that, that pro players use, is they use styles that only are beneficial if you're active and they're awful if you're inactive. Yeah. So having a style that's like really strong if you're inactive, like Roach Hydra, it just it like it, it has a scale of power where it's like, you can sit AFK in your base and max out and the timing that you do eventually push with when you're maxed out is gonna be actually a powerful timing. And it's not gonna be like- Most of my games I win like double their supply. Exactly, yeah, 100%. It's over before it started and- Yep. And it, it's because it's most players that try to play styles that pros use, all they do is they distract themselves by trying to do the micro side of it, and they don't do the macro side of it. And they're like, oh, this is a lot. This is really hard. It's like, yeah, you're trying to do a build that has like a difficulty level of 10 when you can handle like a 2 at because you haven't learned the game yet. So, yeah. yeah that's, it definitely hurts people more than it helps them if they, if they don't like learn how to manipulate economy first. But that's sick, man. I, I mean, you definitely have a really good mindset for... For yourself for, for just advancing at this game and uh watching your you know two games you just played just now definitely shows that too because you definitely had solid improvement there yeah i'm glad you think so I, i'm curious uh do you know who josh waitskin is uh josh winskin waitskin waitskin i don't honestly no have you ever seen the movie searching for bobby fisher i actually have not seen that no okay so he, he was a chess prodigy he was a child okay he was very very good at chess he became like a top chess player and then he eventually got burnt out but then he he took what he learned from how to learn chess and he developed it to tai chi and he became like a world champion tai chi artist or oh, that's cool competitor and he wrote a book called the art of learning and it's really interesting because he talks about how he learned how to play chess and, then, and like i said how he used not not just like being good at chess but the skills he developed and how to learn mm -hmm. in how he eventually conquered like tai chi and he, he wrote a book called the art of learning and it's like um, you preach like similar practices to what he talks about where it's like break down the fundamentals practice one thing at a time make it make it your focus to learn and then better things will come and it's like i don't know I, when uh when i stumbled upon your series it like totally resonated with me because i've read that book and i love that book that's and, sick uh, yeah i've never no one's ever told me this before that's really cool no, though it's, it's super interesting it, it's a short read too i highly recommend it i think it would uh i think you'd be like yeah dude, i've been saying this shit yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I definitely do think this is something I've, I feel like I've experienced throughout my life because I've heard a lot of people, uh, like whether it be like things about video games or things about like real life stuff. Uh, whenever someone tries to explain how to do something, they, they just assume that there's like a basic fundamental knowledge that like the other person already knows, and they just make the uh, the whole explanation super confusing. And they're like, oh yeah, so just do this, this, and this, and you're good. And it's like, okay, well, I don't. That didn't make any sense to me, and. I'm confused now. I'm more confused than before I asked you. Uh, and yeah, I feel like people have a tendency to do that a lot. They don't really elaborate and they don't really articulate very well. Um, uh, just, and again, I've, I've noticed that before I was even like into gaming and stuff. 
like when I basically when I first were started working at a job, someone had to explain to me how to do my job, and I was like, what the f like where does any of this happen? Like yeah, you didn't yeah. like give me any actual info right now. You're just like just do it. I'm yeah, like, like okay. Clean the grill, and you're like, <laughs> yeah. <"What's> fucking what? <laughs> yeah, like literally, people do that all the time. So yeah, I, I noticed that that like I always make an effort to like be super um, thorough about how I explain stuff. No, yeah, I think you do a really good job. That's why I was like interested in in uh, hiring you as a coach because it was like, I don't know, you're, the way you taught and coached in your your B two GM series, I was like, wow, this is, like, really resonates with me. I can 100% do what he's doing, and I understand the priorities and what I need to learn first, and then I can work on, like, like I don't give a fuck if I lose. Yeah, no, that's like, a good. If I get better, I will win more. Yep. Like, I think a lot of people, especially in games where you have like an MMR that's like visible. They make like these goals so, like i want to be 2900 or i want to hit 3k instead of being like i want to fix these parts of my game and then naturally because you did that you're gonna win more and mm -hmm. gain mmr that's yeah, that's, I think, that's correct 100 percent correct yeah uh, yeah the, no, I, I think it's cool that you i don't know i just think uh your video series was awesome <clears throat> yeah no i appreciate that man and uh uh, yeah, I mean, like I said before, I, I, I feel like you and I have a very similar mindset about how to approach the game. So I think uh, the fact that you're you're very positive with the way you, you view it, and that's it's it's just it's nothing but good for you because it's gonna alleviate a lot of like frustration as well that you'll have in the process because you're actually like just trying to improve. You're not trying to hit an artificial goal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, nice man. That's sick. Uh, well, I will have uh. I like as I do with everybody. I'm gonna later tonight. I'll edit this out and I'll post it to YouTube. It takes about a day for the whole process to go through because it has to like render and like upload YouTube. But mm -hmm. when it does, when it's done, probably by sometime tomorrow, I'll send you a message on Discord again and I'll link you the video. So that way, in the future, you can rewatch this as many times as you want. If there's anything you want to recap on. Perfect, man. Thank you. Yeah, dude. Thank you. Uh, great coaching lesson. And uh, dude, I wish you the best of luck going forward. And um, I'd love to hear, you know, a week, a couple weeks from now, how you're doing and stuff like that. Oh, I'll definitely let you know, man. Thanks. All right, yo, thank you, man. Have a good rest of your day. You too. All right. Take it easy, dude. Bye-bye. All right, guys. That has been a uh, coaching lesson with Cameron. Good guy. That's, that's cool how he's talking about the chest stuff. That was actually really sick. I, uh, I, I definitely think I have um, my own way i like to teach people especially like on starcraft and how to play the game and that's cool that uh you know hearing what he told me about how like the, the comparisons there that's actually pretty sick but i hope you guys enjoyed the the lesson um thanks for watching i hope that it helps you in any way as well and i will see you guys in the next one whenever it is uh whenever the next video gets posted to youtube but much love take it easy good luck and i'll see you guys next time peace out guys